Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing very well. So today is a thrifty Thursday. If you are new to my channel, every single Thursday I show you guys some of the things that I picked up recently that were thrifted or second hand. So it could be clothes, it could be homeware, um, but I like to put together some of the things that I've picked up second hand, sometimes from charity shops and flea markets and other times online from places like eBay and Depop. Um, at the moment we are currently in a pandemic so obviously it's not easy to go out and do some thrift shopping because um, in the UK all of our shops are currently shut I'm hoping it will change at some point but I understand why it's happening obviously with everything going on so I haven't been able to go to the charity shops in a really long time but that hasn't stopped me picking up some stuff online and I also wanted to show you some of the stuff that I picked up before the lockdown happened because I haven't had a chance to show you guys yet and I just thought it would be a really nice opportunity to do so for my first like 50 Thursday back. Um, if you're new to my channel I am called Kavita, I am a fashion blogger originally and I also do Instagram and obviously YouTube and I mostly talk about um, clothes and fashion obviously because of course she was fashion but I also like to talk about homewares and interiors as well. So. If that kind of stuff interests you then please do hit that subscribe button and like this video if this is the kind of stuff you are into but also please do check out my instagram it is just actually with fashion or if you're into the more interior home kind of things then i have an amazing flat here in london so you can follow all of my things at she wears fashion home um, and follow both if you're into both of those things as well but yeah i just thought for today i would do something quite quick and simple and easy uh, easy for me to kind of edit together and stuff for my first video back because it has been a while um, I thought I would just show you some of the things I got from the charity shop and online which are interior things so a few little bits and bobs that I found homeware style so a lot of the things that I buy in this flat are second hand so like my sofa my tv stand and other things like that but I also like to pick up little bits and bobs um, and recently I have been absolutely loving the kind of like aesthetic interior home vibe which is like pastels and checkered print and like kind of just quirky pastel cutesy vibes. I don't actually know the word to describe it but if you can imagine you've seen like the tile tables, the checkered rugs, the foam mirrors, anything wavy print, um, that is the kind of thing I've been loving and I've kind of switched up a lot of my homewares recently because my home homeware style has changed a little bit not massively like I'm still really into mid-century modern and vintage things but I really like this kind of like pastel aesthetic vibe so I thought I'd incorporate a few things into my house not so anything major and I just thought I would show you some of the um, second-hand bits that I picked up so I'm gonna start with first some things that I got from a charity shop the first things that I got are this um, salt and pepper shakers in the shape of two little pigs with wings on on clouds so I don't know if you can see that but these are so cute so obviously they are salt and pepper shakers so obviously at the top they have obviously that's for salt and that's for pepper and they look really cute at the front obviously you've got the little magnet there but I just think these are so cute and I follow a lot of interior accounts that sell really kind of cute kind of characters that are very like pastely and very reminiscent of kind of like the older days to so like the 60s and 70s and they're just so cute i don't think i'm going to display them like this i think i'm going to have them separately so this against something and this against something but these were only three pounds from a charity shop so i thought i'd pick them up because they're kind of with that aesthetic that i like and i also think i don't know it's just it's very easy to add little details like this into your home to give off that vibe and these are only three pounds so yeah um they definitely reminded me of some of my instagram accounts that i love following so places like the doll house and in reverie vintage um, that sell a lot of homewares like this I thought these are the kind of things you'd find them selling so I thought I'd pick them up because they're so cheap next up we have this wavy glass jar so I don't know if you can see but it's wavy down the sides and also has a little lid and it's just clear and this was just £2.50 it was just £2.50, so absolute bargain. I really like this, but I think what I'm actually aiming to do is I'm probably going to paint it, um, probably like white and then do some details or something. I'm not too sure, I just love the kind of shape of it, but the glass itself is not particularly trendy. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like waves or if I'm gonna do a check print, because I think it would be really easy to just paint it and then it would instantly look like the kind of aesthetic vibe that I keep banging on about. But yeah, I think just pop a few couple of like sprigs of fake flowers in it and it would just look really nice on the side. Painted really cool and I just love the shape because this kind of wavy design is everywhere at the moment. So I picked that up for £2.50 and thought it was an absolute bargain. 
Next up we've got something else that I'm going to change. So I picked this up and this was £2. So I actually think this is quite expensive for what it is. I don't actually know what it is. I posted about it on my Instagram. Someone said that they thought it was like a denture holder. So it's like a shell that looks like this. And then you open it up and it looks like this. And they think it's like a denture holder. I don't really care. Um, I just love the shell shape. It's very reminiscent of a lot of the candles that I've seen. I also actually own a candle that's shell shaped, but I probably am going to paint this maybe a pastel purple and just have it sat like this as a decorative piece. But you could also um, have it opened up, obviously painted, and then put like um, some cute little like pieces of jewelry. It could be like a little holder for stuff. I actually think that could be a nice way to do it. So I'm not a thousand percent sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I just saw that it was a shell and I was like, oh my God, that's so the vibe that I'm going for. I've seen it so much. Again, it's very similar to what a lot of other like vintage homeware stores on Instagram probably sell um, for a lot more. So two pounds is a bargain. Um, it is easy to sit, but it then opens up. So I'd either have to glue it shut or fasten, fashion something to make it easier if I have it stood up but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this yet. So yeah, there's loads of different things I could do with it, but I'm definitely gonna paint it, I think a purple color, and um, I could do a design on it, but I think just having it plain would be nice as well. But yeah, I picked that up for two pounds, and I think it's really cute. Next up is something that I got that, I saw it and I was like, I know it's a bit weird, but I feel like I can make this work, and I will try and explain. So it is this Yankee Candle set now. Basically what you do when you have a Yankee candle is you have the candle here on the bottom and you put this on top and it kind of looks kind of cute. I kind of think it looks a bit tacky and a bit weird with a Yankee candle. It's definitely by Yankee candle because I don't know if you can see but at the bottom it says Yankee candle and I recognise it because I've seen so many of these at like car boot sales and stuff here in the UK um, because it was, it was very trendy at one time to have Yankee candles and then also have these decorations on them which I don't think look great. But I love the flower print. I think it's so cute. Again, it gives me that kind of pastel aesthetic vibe, similar to a lot of the things I've seen on these like Instagram pages, which give me so much inspiration. I need to give them like hats off to them. I save so many of their posts just for inspiration for things like this that you can find in charity shops. It was two pounds fifty from Tanta Research. I just think it's really nice. So basically, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put something on this plate. Obviously, take the label off and put like a perfume or pieces of jewelry on this and have it as like a little um, decoration plate and then this I was thinking I could put a couple of candles in it just like casual like twisted candles that I have that I've even made myself or bought from Etsy and I just think it kind of works as a kind of candle holder I know there's no bottom to it but like once it's on a table you can put stuff in and it's like fine so I'm not gonna have these together even though that also looks kind of cute looks a bit like a mushroom <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think having them separately makes the most of them and I think £2.50 is not bad um, for something cute that adds a bit of like a pastel colour. So I picked this up even though I asked on Instagram what people thought and no one really liked it but I have a specific vision for this so I think I can make it work. So next up is something I actually bought online off eBay. So since the pandemic hit, I haven't been able to go to charity shops but I have been buying a lot of candles. So the Twisted Candles you've probably seen everywhere and I have done a couple myself and I wanted some really nice vintage candle holders and they're so easy to find they are everywhere in charity shops like for mega mega cheap and I was really upset because I just can't go out and shop for them so I am impatient and I only decided to get one set of these because I know I can get them cheaper from charity shops so I'm going to be a bit more patient but I got this set so basically it comes with two candlesticks holders and it's like an art deco vibe in a nice pastel -y pink these are very very popular they go for a lot of money on those like vintage Instagram pages that I keep banging on about and I just love the design they're so nice when they've got candles in them they have have such beautiful detailing you can tell that they are vintage and like from art deco kind of vibes but then it also came with this that matches so this is like just a pot that you can put anything in i'm just going to pop a few pieces of jewelry on the side just to add to the vibe and this is a set that came all together and i think it was about 12 pounds off eBay, which isn't the cheapest but obviously it had to include postage and also you know, I can't go to charity shops right now. And I knew that getting them online, obviously everybody's got the same vibe as me currently because it's so trendy. And a lot of people are looking for things like this because so many people are buying them. So I knew that I was gonna be not able to get them for like a couple of quid. So I had to spend like over a tenner, which is fine because I'm impatient and I wanted at least a couple because I have so many candles. But 
when the charity shops open, I will be specifically looking out for these in the butt load because I have so many candles that need putting in them. So yeah, got these for £12, which is kind of expensive, but it is what it is. And finally, I saved the best till last. So basically, as I said a million times, I follow these Instagram pages and some of the pages have these lamps that are similar to Murano mushroom lamps. So I'll put a picture here if you don't know what they are. Murano lamps are like super trendy right now. They're very vintage, very hard to get hold of. Even vintage, they can go upwards of like 300 pounds. But people are really liking that kind of mushroom lamp aesthetic. And basically, I've seen on these pages people selling IKEA lamps that came out a very long time ago, like 90s sort of time um that are from ikea obviously they don't make them anymore and i saw them and i was like oh they're really nice like they're a bit more affordable they sell them for about 30 to 40 pounds um sometimes as a set sometimes separately and then i went into a charity shop and i saw this and i was like i recognize this because it's not the kind of thing i would ever ordinarily be like oh a blue lamp because it, it just isn't like you look at it and you're like i don't really get the vibe but because i've been following these pages and they just start up super nice with all the other like aesthetic and vibe stuff i realized that this is the kind of thing that people had been selling for like 30 40 quid and i was in the charity shop and it was only it was only six pounds i don't know if you can see that so basically absolute bargain um it does work because there is a bulb in it now so i'm just gonna plug it in so you can see it looks like this which i think is so cute so it gives me kind of like obviously vintage vibes it definitely gives me 90s vibes but it kind of reminds me of like lava lamps you used to get from the 90s which to be honest they're probably going to come in fashion at some point because we know that fashions all come around and in interiors especially it's definitely having a moment but yeah i think it looks really nice it goes with kind of like all the other colored like things that i've got and um i really like the blue i think i probably would have picked a different color like maybe a pink because i love pink but i think the blue obviously it was in a charity shop so i can't pick it, it was just there but i also think it's quite nice to have something a bit different from all the pinks that i have and stuff so yeah i'm just gonna turn this off so yeah i really really like this let me know if you guys like this because i think a lot of people don't really like it but if you look at other inspiration pictures you kind of get my vibe you'll appreciate the fact that this is something that a lot of people are quite liking in the whole pastel aesthetic vibe and i think this is a bargain because even when i look on ebay these are going for about 20 to 30 pounds each and it being six pounds is an absolute bargain and i think it's really cool that it's like retro ikea it says at the bottom it's called the Lichter lamp so if you want to search ebay yourself i'll put the name on screen so you can have a look if you want to get one of these yourself because they are a nice little alternative to the murano lamps and they're very bright and colorful so it adds a bit more color than the murano ones um unless you get the murano ones colored but i think these are a deeper color than the murano ones come in so i really like this i think this is my favorite thing of all the things that i got um but yeah so that is it for this week's thrifty thursday every single thursday i'll be talking about things i thrifted probably will be a lot of stuff online or things i previously thrifted because like i've said the charity shops are not open and i miss them so much but it just means that i'll be even more excited to go when they open up when things are back to normal which here in the uk we don't really know when that's going to be but i kind of understand why because things are hard at the moment so yes these are the things that i picked up for kind of like my home you'll probably see them like popping up here and there if you follow me at she was fashion home um but yeah if you like this video please like it and subscribe if this is the kind of stuff that you are into and yeah i will leave this video there guys i'll see you later